Hey guys, welcome back. I'm really, really excited to share to you the new firmware of the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III. So today we'll be discussing on what are the updates and what did they fix with this firmware. So as you can see on the left side, I have my phone screen. So first of all, I'll be showing you the version of the update. So we have 61.0.8.11.92. So what uh, is the first app the update is the game enhancer. So this was updated from 5.0.8.1.8 and now it's 5.0.8.1.12. Next is the security patch. So we now have the August security patch. So I'll be showing you all the models under Xperia 1 Mark III who got the 11.92. So going with the XQ-BC72 model of Xperia 1 Mark III, so far it's already one day for the custom Taiwan. Next is the Hong Kong and China for today. I'm not sure why I just got mine, but so far mine was bought from Taiwan. Uh, even though, as long as we got the latest one soon, I'm okay. <laughs> Next, we're going to West Side with the Xperia 1 Mark III XQBC52. So far, only three got the O2 UK, the Orange MCV, and the EE UK. So for those uh, who bought the Xperia 1 Mark III with this name, kindly check your update now. So, so far, we'll be talking about what did this firmware fix. So as for me, first thing I notice is the notification. You know, Xperia or Sony itself is really good with battery management. But what I notice, some of the apps if you don't open them, you won't receive the notification. I already checked the power management. I already checked the battery management. I already exempt it. After a while, it will always come back to restriction. So far, I noticed after I update, I can already see the bubble on the messenger. But this one won't, doesn't happen to all the apps. Like so far, my company app, even though I disable it it's working fine but like whatsapp it's on and off so let's go now to the main issue that this firmware fix so i went to this website that's actually originally from chinese which i translated to english now so mostly they talk about the heat issue even though on my end i take videos with this phone so far, I get warm, but I don't really get the temperature warning like some of the users have. And I'm actually living in a tropical country. So here, you can see they, they are mentioning about power saving. Updated. When they say fever, because it's translated from Chinese, it's like the warm feeling with the phone. So improve. It's cooler now. CPU clock. Uh, it feels cooler now. So for this guy, mentioned like the fingerprint also improved. And the wake up sticker is working. So far, I tried it myself after the update. And I noticed that it doesn't really get warm compared to when I'm playing last time. I'm using a CODM to test it. And I'm, I maximize all the graphics. So far, I'm really happy with the performance now. And I didn't feel any stuttering or lagging also with this. If ever they manage to lower some of the performance of the CPU itself. And I got this website. So this one was shared of one of our friends in Sony Global in Facebook. 
So he shared this one. So I'm doing this video so that we can share this one to everyone who's really like want to know on how's the Xperia 1 Mark III when it comes to heat or warm issue with the Snapdragon 888. So Sony is really aware with the Snapdragon 888 heat issue. So since day one, they're trying to suppress this one as long as the performance doesn't really affect. So we know that the graphite inside is a lot compared to the Xperia 1 Mark II. But still, when we use it for gaming, we still feel like a warm at the back of the phone. So they have this one, what they call System Temperature Control Algorithm Optimization for this update. Which is this update, I got it. So, so far, what this what does this one do is they just make the phone work smoothly without even having issue with the camera performance and also the gaming performance but possible they adjust some of the clock speed of the CPU so we really didn't get much information about that one so next is they share here the tips to suppress heat generation so with these tips I'm not sure everyone will agree with this but still I will just share with this one if anyone wants to try it so first they recommend to always go to the power saving running page and you need to manually clean it which I don't know if everyone has time to do that one next turn off features that will not be used for a long time high refresh rate display Bluetooth settings and information so for me, since day one, I'm using the high refresh rate 120 hertz. So far, battery life for me is okay. Display settings, I'm all I'm actually on a adaptive for the brightness. Bluetooth, I only use it if I'm using a headset. But location, this one, it's we really need to leave it on since we're in pandemic one. When we scan, we really need to enable this location to save our scan location page third is an install cleanup application that you no longer use this one what if you suddenly in a place that you don't have a nice internet connection or data suddenly you need to use that app so i'm not really sure if you are okay with this one but at least as you can see we're sharing this one just to be sure if you are having a problem with your phone with the heat issue you may try to use these tips see if it works but i really recommend you to update to this firmware so i think that's all for this firmware i'll be observing more of any other changes or change log with this one and maybe I'll be updating another or I'll be doing another video for this uh, phone. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you again with another one. And have a nice day.